Oh, it smells nice. It smells clean. It feels clean. Regular shampoo. It's not really doing the bizzo for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren. I'm going to be showing you how I take care of my protective style. Stay to the end because I have a quick little hack just to show you how to neaten up your braids and keep them lasting even longer. Had them in for six weeks and I've done about three washes with regular shampoo. It's not really getting rid of the residue in the build up. So I found a product today, the African Pride Black Castor Miracle Growth Protection Braid and Scalp Cleansing Rinse. And it contains black castor oil, micellar water, coconut oil and peppermint oil it says no mineral oils no petroleum I mean I don't mind those things because I love my hair grease as you may know and secondly to treat my scalp and moisturize it and moisturize my strands I'm going to be using the Cantu Shea Butter Tea Tree and Jojoba Scalp and Hair Oil my hair starting to look and feel a bit dusty because of the product buildup what you need is your water, a little washcloth or towel just to wipe any residue off and that will be it. Got quite a bit of build up there. The best way is to section my hair and then just start that way. Right, so let's get started. Okay, next I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to dip it into water just to wipe away any excess. And what I will say is even though you're rubbing with the pads of your fingers, try and go down in the direction of the hair. You don't want your hair to look all frizzy. It does say eliminate frizz. So there's no frizz, no suds. However, I do believe it's how you manipulate your hair as well. I'm going to lift my hair from where I started and I'm just going to go in and just wipe it down with that cloth. Now this guys is kind of like an ointment and you're gonna see what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did with the cleanser. So can you see what I mean by like an ointment guys? So it's not, it's not as thick as hair grease, but it does have a grease like texture to it. So what you can do is put it on your fingertips, lift up your hair and just kind of rub it through the partings. It resembles a little bit of coconut oil, a mixture between coconut oil and I guess hair grease. And I like to put this just around the peripherals, so the nape, just to make sure those little bits are moisturized. And what I'm gonna do now, just to smooth it down, I'm gonna run it down the lengths of my hair. I would suggest maybe to run it down the lengths of your hair when you have sprayed your strands. Okay, so I've got my spray and again, this is by African Pride, Braid Sheen Spray. So for now, because I've just done all of that, I'm going to freshen up my hair with this. Okay guys, so if you've reached this part of the video, you have stayed to the end, you are loyal and you want to see this hack. I did show this on my Instagram, but whilst I got your hair, I'm gonna show you now. <laughs> so, as you can see, my hair is growing out at the roots. See that? We wanna neaten this up, so what we're gonna do so we're gonna take our brush, we're gonna take our edge wax, and you will need to buy one of these crochet needles. If you haven't got one, guys, they were like one pound. I am selling them on my Amazon store, so you can have a look there. For this hack, you're gonna to want to apply your edge wax. Be aware that this is also 
a method used to lock hair. So please, if you do this method and you don't want your hair to lock, I wouldn't recommend having this style in for too much longer after you do this. So as you can see, we've gathered all the hair. Now I'm going to twist it about two times. Then I'm going to take my crochet needle. I'm going to put it through with the end flipped down like that. And then I'm going to push it through the top like that with the end still flipped down. I'm going to take the end of my extension, close the needle. I'm going to hold it and pull the hair through. There you go. I think that is enough because I have done this quite a few times on my hair. So I think just doing it that once would be sufficient, okay? Anyway guys, so that is it for this video. If you do want to see how I do my mum's hair and do these parts, these pineapple parts, you're going to want to click this video now.